Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial. Um, so these next upcoming tutorials, we can actually make our character move. Um, so there's going to be two different movement types. It's going to be when the ca character is facing where the camera is looking. So it will be forward, back, strafing, left and right. And then there's also just going to be our normal moving around. So when we're not aiming or anything, um, the character is just going to move, move around. Um, no strafing, no nothing. It's just going to face the direction we want him to move and he's just going to move forward. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set a few things up first. I'm going to add a character controller to our little character here called Jack. So make sure you got Gizmos turned on. And once you um, add the character controller, first thing you want to do is make sure that it's um, the capsule collider is around your player. So play around with these values. Um, I've used this character enough to remember what the value is. Um, and then do you want to adjust the radius so that it basically just fits your character? Just like so, maybe even a little less. Okay, so once your character controller is on, your character is all ready to uh, move around basically. I am going to edit the camera controller a little. So inside camera controller, I'm going to add an empty and I'm going to call this the Y gimbal. Um, and then I'm going to put our camera inside the Y gimbal. Just make sure that the Y gimbal did zero out where everything is zero except from the scales. Um, we're going to go ahead and edit our camera script. So inside our camera controller, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a reference to the gimbal. So I'm just going to create a public game object and I'm just going to call it Y gimbal. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to create another vector three for the Y gimbal's rotation. So instead of target rotation, we're going to say Y gimbal rotation. I don't know if I spelled gimbal right, but uh, that's what we're going to be using. So what we want to do now is where we rotate on the X axis, so moving the camera up and down, we want to apply that to our gimbal. Um, so it might be a little bit confusing why it's not called X gimbal, but it's Y for the input Y <laughs> as opposed to the axis. Um, so I'm going to comment these out for now and I'm just going to add a little section beneath here so where after we set the transform to rotation of the camera we are going to set the transform dot rotation of the Y gimbal uh, transform rotation equals and it's basically going to be the same so we need, we'll be handing in a vector 3 um, and converting it to a uh, quaternion. So I'm going to, instead of target rotation, we obviously want our Y gimbal rotation. Okay, so now we need to edit this Y gimbal rotation. Um, so this is pretty simple. We're basically going to be doing exactly the same we did up here, except on our Y gimbal. So I'm just going to bring these down now. Over here. And what I'm going to do is instead of editing the target rotation, um, we're going to edit the Y gimbal rotation. And make sure you change it in your clamp as well, otherwise you'll get some funny behavior. Okay, so now what, we, what we're what we doing now is we're setting the Y gimbal rotation. Um, so because this is a new vector 3, all the values will be 0 except from the values we change here, which is going to give us some funny behavior because uh, obviously we don't want the rotation to be 0 on the y-axis because uh, we'll just be looking in a forced direction as opposed to the one we change up here. So instead what we're going to do instead of dot rotation we're going to edit the local rotation. So I'm going to tidy that up. So with the local rotation it's completely fine for the y to be 0 because it'll just inherit it from the parent um, as you guys probably already know that. <laughs> so I'm going to tidy that up a little. Okay, let's just make sure that that's working. So I'm going to go into our camera controller, make sure I set that Y gimbal variable, hit play, and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm able to look left and right and up and down. So visually, nothing has changed. However, if we look at the character controller, I just change this to rotate. When I look up and down, you can see our character controller 
um, x-axis doesn't change, only his y-axis. And the reason for this is I will be driving, I'll be using this to drive the player to determine what direction he has to move into. And rather than trying to uh, bring correct the rotation on the x-axis so that we don't move our player into the ground, we can just use uh, the character, the camera controller as it is. Um, so it's a little bit of extra work, um, but I think it's quite needed. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to open up our model script. I'll be changing this class, so I'm going to try to separate things out a little bit more. So we're going to have player settings and I'm going to change our original one to camera settings. Um, it's fine to still have the menu, the uh, variable down here because that is used in the camera script and it is for the camera. However, our actual player settings model will now just be used um, for our player down here. So we'll create a public and we'll just create a float for forward speed. And we'll just set that to one for now. We will be coming in here and adding strafing speed, running speed, walking speed, this, that and the other. Uh, but for now, we're just going to have our forward speed. I'm going to go to our camera controller because now this is broken. And instead of uh, creating a player controller here, uh, no, sorry, no, instead of our settings here, player settings here, we're just going to change that to camera settings. And that'll fix our camera script. And inside our player controller, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and create a public player settings. Um, and we're going to call that settings as well. Cool. Make sure you're using static um and then the class that you create everything in so we're gonna let's just make sure that was player settings model as opposed to just player settings there we go we're gonna remove all the uh, usings that we're not actually using just to keep things nice and clean okay so if we now go ahead and look at jack take a look player controller there's our new player settings cool all nice already uh, so that's the end of this episode so this episode was basically just setting, setting it up getting it ready um, and in the next episode we're actually going to uh, make our player move around so um, subscribe like this video if you liked it and uh, thanks for watching